Welcome back to another episode of Whip Media TV. I'm your host, Whip Media Mickey, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do to the channel. Subscribe right now. Join the Vibe Tribe. Let's get it. On today's episode, I cover the art of war. Lesson number one Only enter battles you know you can win. Winners know when to fight and when not to fight. Losers always fight and thus often end up losing. Fools enter battles and then start thinking about how to win. Strategists know how they're going to win before even starting the battle. Have you ever thought about the fact that the most skillful fighters often avoid battles and that's why they're never defeated? Take Bobby Fischer for instance, the most brilliant chess player of all time instantly retreated after he won the world championship not playing again for 20 years. So if you're starting a business, look at the industry first. Can you even win against your biggest competitors? And if not, is there a different niche you can fill? Creating a sneaker brand to compete with Nike will certainly be an effort in vain. Given that Nike's global brand's direct consumer revenue is around $18 billion, but maybe you can create a higher priced, eco-friendly brand that targets bike riders. That can make you a fortune. Only enter battles you know you can win. Lesson number two, deceive your competitors to impose your will on them. Mask strength with weakness, courage with timidity, and order with disorder. A clever army will not win with their bodies, but with their minds. Making it seem like you're miles away when you're close to the enemy's base with distractions or surprise attacking in several places to splinter opposing forces are common tactics in the battlefield. They're based on deceit and supposed to make your enemy do what you want them to do. In business, you can do the same. It baffles people to discover insanely profitable and dominating businesses, which on the front end appear to be like a mom and pop store. Take Amazon for example. It's one of the largest online retail websites in the world. From its humble beginnings in the garage to international business employing thousands of people, the company has enjoyed tremendous growth. People all over the world purchase books, music, movies, and products from Amazon and hundreds of partner companies. But who would have knew? Bezos wanted Amazon to be more than just a retail website. He wanted to create an online community early on. He added the feature to enable readers to add their own book reviews for all customers to view. See, there are endless examples like this one on the web. And this humbleness and modesty are great ways to throw off competitors. Lesson number three, lead your team as if you were leading a single man by the hand. See, eventually your business will need a team and eventually that team will have to grow. But as companies get bigger, they get more complex. Every single human adds an infinite amount of feelings, thoughts and ideas to the business. And all of those have to be managed. When talking about armies, a skilled general leads his army as if he was leading a single man by the hand. Whether you're managing a big army or a small one, the tools are the same. Break them down into smaller groups and then use clear signals to steer them into the right direction. Leadership. In business, that means teams should stay small. Three to four people are often a good number to cooperate before things get too complicated. Then you can set clear signals like sales targets, tools to use, and a daily morning briefing to make sure everyone's on track. Never forget one-on-one -on -one interaction with everyone on your team because if you treat your employees like family, they'll be just as loyal. 